So right now I'm in the process of making a coyote hat and right now I'm separating the underbelly of the coyote because the fur is white and then uh, from the fur where the guard hairs are on its back. The fur has a contrast in color and I want to keep all the fur, the white fur for the interior of the hat and all the kind of brownie highlights for the top of the hat. So right now I'm just separating it out and uh, I'm going to be cutting through the hide. Uh, coyote hides are pretty thin so you're just going to have to be careful in cutting the hide. I'll take you through uh, the process of cutting the hide. Um, hopefully I can get a zoom. That's close enough. As you can see I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife. Here's the process. Hopefully you can get a bird's eye view of this here. As you can see I'm barely, I'm just going to go around the line that's where the hair actually starts to change color. I'm just going to follow the curvature as best I can, but I don't want to go through into the hairs. Just touching the surface of the skin itself. I don't want to hear any hairs tearing in this process. As you can see right there, it's separating. And if there's a little piece that you didn't get, just kind of gently touch it. Make sure that your X-Acto knife or scalpel or whatever you want to use is really, really sharp. Ever so gently. This underbelly is really, really thin. And I don't want to cut those hairs because when the seams go together, we want a little bit of overhang. There's going to be seam allowance and I do not want the hairs to be showing through. I want the hairs to cover it. Because if we just took a pair of scissors right now and just started chopping away at it, unfortunately, this coyote would have a mullet. And I know from experience, mullets aren't good. I'm just going to peel away as much as I can without tearing the fur itself and it looks like it's coming out quite nicely I don't want to rip it too badly there we go where, where the guard hairs are will be the top. Goes like this. And this will be the sides. Kind of working its way through here. Just to keep it all the same color. I have my patterns all cut out. And now I'm just tracing them onto the coyote where I'm going to be cutting. Uh, making sure that the fur is uh, all the same consistency and length uh, for the, uh, the brim of the hat and then I'm making sure that the top has all the guard hairs. See exactly how my tracing job was when I first did it. As you can see it's fairly accurate along the sides and the bottom. Then I notice the length is good but I have this little piece over here that's just a little bit out. So what I'm going to do is just uh, double check it again. All right. So it looks like I have a little bit excess over here that I'll be trimming down.
Now that all the pieces are cut for the size of the hat, I'm just going to line them up to ensure that they're all in the same direction and also that all the colors match side by side and there's no uneven spots anywhere on this. If there's any mats in it, it's a good time to comb it right now. Alright, time for sewing. Alright, so I'm marking out where the seam is going to go. I want to keep on track while I'm sewing. So I have this edge lined up at the very edge of both seams here and they match up right at this edge as well. So I'm just going to make little marks there. All these seams are supposed to join up. And hopefully I do that. And this way it'll keep me on track and then I don't have a whole bunch of extra material at the end. Alright, uh, not sure if you can actually see this. Maybe I should try to get in a little closer here. I'm just going to start sewing a seam here. So what I did is I started in the middle of the seam and worked my way outwards so that I'd be able to do a nice tight end knot at the end. So I just kind of uh, pushed it through, not uh, including much hair in the process. And I'm just taking my tag end, pushing it through the loop. Hopefully you can get this. And then I'm just going to hold the tag end down and then tighten it down and restretch it out. And I'll do another quick one here. All the time, I'm just making sure that I'm following these lines here. And one more time here. Push it all the way through. Get the tag loop. Tag through the loop. And then tighten. This is quite the time-consuming process, um, but I think it'll be worth it in the end.